Hi, I'm Heath from vMix. vMix 27 introduces layer design features to allow you to easily resize, move, crop, and add borders to your layers. It includes snapping to grids and pixel coordinate editing so that you can achieve accurate layouts fast. Let's take a look. To demonstrate, I've got my camera here, plus a few image inputs that represent participants for perhaps a Zoom meeting or a vMix call. I've also got a social title and a background image that I'll be layering everything onto. I'll head to the settings gear icon for that background image to get started. From here, I'll go to the layers tab. Here, I've got my list of layers that I can apply to this input. I can put a different input in each layer. I'll add my camera to layer one. This is layered my camera input directly over the background image. If I want to resize it, I can use the layer design tools. I'll start with the move functionality. Here I can grab one of the tabs here and drag it and move my input around. If I then grab the input, I can move it and you'll note that as I move it around, it snaps to various points. If I want to align something accurately, I can right click it and align it to, let's say, the center, and align it to the middle. There we go, now that's perfectly aligned. For fine tuning, I can also use the pixel coordinate editing here. Next is the cropping. If I click on this, I can now grab one of the side tabs and drag it in to crop the sides. If I hold the shift key while I do this, it will crop both sides evenly. Next is the borders. I need to turn them on and then apply a thickness. I'll set this to 20. I can then apply a radius if I wish. I might set this to 20 as well and click to show you what that looks like. Selecting the input, I can also apply a color to the border. If I make a mistake, I can hit the undo button and it will undo the last event. And if I wanna now lock down my layer so that I can edit it no further, I can click the lock button. Okay, the next thing I'll show you is the templates. So I've already created a template here that has a large box in the top left two smaller boxes below, and a cropped box off to the right. I'm going to use this template. This has immediately moved my first layer into position and applied the appropriate crop and borders. The next thing to do is add my other layers. So I can add Harry, I can add Dan, and I can add the social title. Now the last thing I want to show you is the snapping to grids. You can change the grid that you use and your layers will snap to that grid. To do this, head to the safe zone grid icon. If I want very fine adjustments, I can pick the grid 32. Now this is very fine and as a result, it will be easier if I make the window larger. So I'm going to maximize this. Okay. As a last thing to show you how the grid snapping works, I'm gonna to go to move and I'll grab my input and I'll drag it down and you'll see as I approach, it snaps immediately to that grid. And that's the end of the training video. Hopefully you've found it helpful and you'll be able to use these new layer design features in your next production. If you do have any questions, head to vmix.com. We have a lot of support documentation there and you can also email us from there. And as a final bonus, you'll find linked in the description, a copy of the template layer file that I used during this training video. You're welcome to use it for your next production. To do that, all I needed to do was hit the export button. And for you to bring it into your production, all you need to do is press the import button. And with that said, Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the next training video.